Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenya and in today's video we're going to be doing some deep cleaning and a lot of organizing, mostly in my kitchen. It has been about two months since we moved into this new house and I feel like I'm pretty much through with all the deep cleaning in this space, however I am a little behind on all the organization, as well as finding a home for every single little thing that we have, which in fact I'm going to be doing a lot of in today's video to just bring you that motivation to get your house clean and and organized for all the holidays to come. As you may know, I enjoy doing things on a budget and while I also love all the fancy organizers and little gadgets to spend money on, I'm gonna try and minimize all of that spending a little, especially after buying a new house, and try and organize all of the things in here with something that I either already have or something that is very affordable. And I would say the same about fall and Halloween decorations. I'm gonna try and think outside of the box and watch some YouTube videos to get some ideas and inspiration to just go ahead and do some DIY when it comes to organization and decorations this year. Talking about saving money, I just bought these beautiful cups from Amazon and I wanted to display them because I like them a lot and so I screwed those gray hooks that I had on hand onto a piece of wood and asked my husband to hang it for me. What can I say, it's nothing fancy but it works for now, my cups are on this way and I am happy. Next I need to take care of those stains on my stove that wouldn't go away and I've been waiting for the mist Mrs. Meyers cream cleaner to arrive so that I could do that. I've heard so many good things about this cream cleaner and I'm hoping it's gonna work on my stove. But anyway, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am Jenya. I am a Russian wife to an American husband and I moved to America about 10 years ago and then I met him about 3 years ago. We got married, had two kids. My daughter Anya is 3 years old, my son Maxim is 1 and my cat Katya is also 3 years old. We just sold our townhouse to move into this new one that comes with a beautiful backyard and fruit garden that takes years to build so we couldn't be happier. But anyways, on this channel you will find plenty of cleaning motivation as well as organizing and decluttering. From time to time you will see a room makeover and a DIY project as well. Anyway, I could not believe that this Mrs. Myers cream cleaner got my stovetop all nice and clean without me even having to pull out my scraper. I think I have a new favorite. The next thing I'm going to do is to clean up the kitchen a little bit as well as rearrange my countertop organization just to make it make more sense for me and then I'm going to do some serious organization with a couple of kitchen cabinets and just organization in general in the kitchen. Now I'd like to screw these hook organizers from the dollar store onto my kitchen island. I feel like there's a lot of wasted space on my kitchen island and you'll see that in a minute but I thought that space would be perfect to keep my potatoes and onions so they would be far away enough from each other because as far as I know potatoes and onions are not supposed to be kept close together. They're also going to be a little bit out of the way but at the same time very easily available. Even if I don't use it for potatoes and onions I could use it for something else as well. I ordered some uh, sack bags from Amazon for potatoes and onions. They have not arrived yet at this moment but they will by the end of this video and you will see them later. I have actually been recording this video over the course of, I want to say, two weeks. So at some point in this video you will see me change the color of my hair, don't be surprised. But honestly, this kitchen has been a little hard for me to get to organizing since it's the heart of the house. Therefore, it's always busy and I'm sure you know that it can sometimes get a little hard to organize the kitchen with one hand while cooking dinner with the other. But little by little, I got through a lot and I am just so happy to know where my things are, especially after moving and unpacking. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you wish you can say hi to me in the comments of course but I also wanted to ask you a little bit something off the topic which I'm really wondering about. Are you decorating for fall this year? Please let me know if you are or not and if you are, have you started and finished the process yet? I'm new to decorating and although I am enjoying it quite a bit, there are a lot of things I don't know. When is the cutoff date for decorating for fall? And I'm sure there is no strict rules on decorating, however, I was wondering are there still people left who haven't finished their fall decorating or maybe haven't even started? I 
I decided to place this garden light into this dark corner. It was just really depressing, so this light I think makes a difference. Now I'm going to try and hide this wire as much as I can with those little hooks that I got from Amazon. I couldn't find them on Amazon again, so I can't place a link, but there are plenty of other options. First I'm gonna clean the surface with alcohol and then let it dry for just a second and come back to it to place the hooks. For cleaning the countertops I'm using Method All Purpose Cleaner. Also, I would say that there is a whole another part to this video where I will be organizing more of the drawers and the cabinets and it just didn't fit into this video today. So I would say this is a part one and the part two is gonna be coming out next. This kitchen is very big, I'm not used to it, so the whole organization took me, like I mentioned, a couple of weeks. So the whole organization didn't fit into one video. ideal organization of kitchen countertops to me is when I have minimal stuff on the kitchen countertops. It makes it easy to clean and not confusing to look at. That's why I like hooks and hanging everything on the wall space rather than the countertops. So at some point in the future I think I'm gonna be getting rid of that oil and vinegar from the countertops as well as that salt and pepper and the knives even. I think a piece of decor will look much better there in my opinion. But as you may know functionality is everything to me. When I organize once it's functional then I'm gonna worry about the look of it because I think when something is organized in a beautiful way but not a functional one that beauty is probably gonna fall apart really fast not to say that I don't like things looking beautiful but I worry about functionality first
it is time to get to the cabinets with the cups and the bottles and all the mess as you can see my goal is to place just cups and things of that nature into this cabinet so the stuff on the top shelf is going to have to go and this whole cabinet is going to have to be reorganized or should i say just organized <laughs> got this tool from Amazon and it cost me around $20 or even less and I love it. There are different attachments to it, it doesn't have batteries so it charges through USB cable, it's just practical to me. You can do little cuts and polish things and I don't know what else, there are different attachments like I mentioned but I'll leave a link in the description in case you're interested. Whenever I store baby bottles vertically in the cabinet, they always fall over and it annoys me very much. So I decided to use this little organizer from the dollar store so that I can put the bottles in it and also not waste that airspace. I only need to fit five bottles in here because the rest of the bottles is going to be pre-made with milk in the fridge. That's how I like it. Also, I know that if I'm able to fit five bottles in here and I'm still left with some clean ones, empty ones, that means I'm running low on bottles of milk in the fridge and I need to make some. So as you can see I'm just sanding the edges so that they don't scratch my hands. Also you may be wondering why I'm not just placing under shelf basket on that shelf for the bottles and first of all I like using them but for other things I wanted something a little bit sturdy so that it wouldn't slide out every time I'm trying to grab something in a hurry and second thing I like those baskets and so the couple that I have I'm using for other things and if I start buying a lot of those it's gonna cost me quite a bit. In my mind this project was supposed to be easy in theory until I actually started doing it but that's how most projects are. I didn't realize how thick and heavy this shelf was and I would have to pre-drill but since I already had started I just wanted to finish it and have this shelf the way I wanted it to be. I know this project may seem like a temporary solution because of the looks but it is extremely functional and I would still say that it is easy to make. But of course it doesn't have to stay there forever if I don't want to I can always take it out, take the screws out and fill up the holes if I want to. That is when I'm ready to spurge on prettier organizers for my kitchen which is not quite right now. I cut out those little lines so that I can take the container out and put it back in with no problem, otherwise it would have been stuck there and wouldn't be able to move. If you have been subscribed to my channel for a little bit, you probably have heard me complain or talk about our old dishwasher that we were replacing and we were waiting on this one to arrive for forever. I absolutely love this top thin shelf that I now have to use for flat things or small things and I'm just happy that the dishwasher has finally arrived. I guess we have been placing cups wherever in this kitchen since there was no organization yet, so I'm collecting all the cups and tumblers from all over the kitchen to put them all into one place. I'm
Some of you have asked me if I am ever going to paint this kitchen like I did my old one in the old house. And oh my gosh, I so much want to, but I don't know how much time it's going to take me since it is such a big project, but I would still like to change the theme. I know that a wood look makes a house feel warm and welcoming, but there is just too much wooden look going on here. So I would like to paint this kitchen eventually. I have not decided on the color yet. If the kitchen was small, I would paint it white, but since it's so big, I can actually get Get away with dark color but anyway i'll put that project in line with all the other ones that i have on my to-do list Sometimes while I'm cooking, I have my daughter play with different color water in the jars. She has those little measuring jars or whatever they're called. I make different color water, so I'm gonna put all of that activity kind of together on to the second shelf because I can still reach it. And the first shelf is going to have just cups, whereas the second shelf is going to have all the miscellaneous things that are still to do with liquid, if that makes sense. All the containers I am using I'm sure you might be familiar with because they are from the dollar store. And this wire container I'm gonna hang on the very top shelf so that I can keep some miscellaneous stuff on it that I don't use often at all but I am not ready to get rid of. Since I cannot reach the third shelf and my husband is pretty tall, I'm gonna place all of his stuff on the third shelf. Also don't let me fool you, this wire container is going to fall off in a couple of hours so I'm going to come back here with some super glue and secure it for good. Sometimes command strips is just not enough, so super glue always comes to the rescue. Okay, now that the cabinet is pretty much organized, I'm gonna show you what we ended up with. But I still have some things washing in the dishwasher, and before this video ends, I'm going to place them inside the cabinet and show you another after. After this is done in just a second, I'm going to move to the window area and deep clean the window and I'm going to have a little accident with the table and you'll see what I mean in a little bit. Now that I got everything inside of the cup cabinet, this is the final after shot.
These are a couple things I'm throwing away after this organization. Okay, I know the table is full of stickers, but I don't really care at the moment because in a few days I was going to sand this table. The reason is I don't like the way the table looks with those plastic protective corners for toddlers. And I was hoping to maybe make the corners of the table more round so we don't have to use these, but that is just another experiment. But anyway, the table is really heavy and I ended up breaking one leg of it. That's because I didn't expect it to be that heavy. But we don't really care for this table much because my husband actually wants a really big dining table. That's why I'm really excited to play around with this one. Maybe something really good comes out of it and we'll decide to keep it for something else. This art on the windows is my daughter's work made from air clay and I'm going to clean it now. First, I'm gonna clean up this window with the vacuum and then I'm gonna get in here with my Bissell steam shot. Just wanted to mention guys that if you ever have any questions or anything you would like to say to me directly, you can always send me a message on Instagram. I'm at from Jenya with love, just like this channel. I'll be happy to hear from you. And other than that, of course, feel free and welcome to always leave me a comment here on YouTube in the comment section below. I can't say enough about a product that doesn't obligate you to buy other products to fill it up with and just keep buying them all the time. This steam shot cleans with just water and I just love it. If you can see there's a little ladybug on the window, I ended up saving it actually. upside 
As you can see, the table is laying down upside down because I can't literally lift it up. I'm afraid to either break the legs or break my back doing it because it really is that heavy. So I'm gonna wait for my husband to come back from work and flip it over. You also may be wondering what that blue hmm, container is on the bottom of the table. And that is just another experiment that I did. It looks silly, really. It was a paper organizer that I screwed on the bottom of the table so that I can use it as my hidden storage. Sometimes when I feed my son, I just really cannot and don't want to get up and go around all the chairs i just want all the cleaning wipes for him right there by my side but not really on the table so i figured this would work and it actually did Okay, as you can see, my husband's home, he's gonna flip the table over. Also, by this time, Amazon has delivered my potato and onion sacks that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So now I'm gonna put the potatoes and onions in them and hang them onto those hooks that I screwed into the kitchen island at the beginning of this video. In my next video, I'm getting rid of this plastic kitchen cage and replacing it with something a little DIY. Before I finish this video, I just wanted to do a couple of final touches and also show you a couple of more hook organizers that are just really simple, but they were a lifesaver for me. So let me show you those in just a second. And also let me tell you that there is so much more organization, obviously, to come in this kitchen. And I'm gonna have it come out either in the next video or the one after, because I was trying to see if I should squeeze a little bit of fall decor or am I too late for that? I'm gonna see what you say in the comments and decide then. I wanna know how many of you are still decorating or haven't finished decorating. Again, none of this has to be permanent. I'm just placing things as I need them right now. Whenever the kitchen is not functional, I find it a huge time waste. Not just the kitchen, any place really, but the kitchen is the place where things are very fast paced. So to me, it really is important to keep some things kind of close, but at the same time out of the way and try my best to keep it functional. I know these are washcloths, but I love using those in the kitchen. I wipe my children's hands and faces with them. And after a while, when they're not quite as white and new looking, I use them for floor spills. I'm gonna place a couple of hooks on my baby's high chair, mostly for the bibs and whatever else I might like to use them for.
And one more thing, I actually ended up loving it so much. If you stare at your phone a lot while you're cooking, maybe for a recipe or whatever else you're watching, it may be frustrating to get all the oil and spills and water on your phone. So after finding these hooks at the dollar store that completely happened to match my kitchen cabinets, I knew that I had to try this with my phone. And finally, this last one is with my favorite magnetic hooks that you get for $7.99 for 10 of them from Amazon. And I love them so much. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope to see you here next week and you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye now.